love Paganini's caprices and generally Paganini's music. Um, I find it a real pleasure to play. Um, uh, we have this, this image of Paganini as, uh, uh, you know, this amazing virtuoso violinist uh, um, with, you know, a little bit devilish, a little bit mystic, uh, maybe a little arrogant. Um, and I always think there's so much more there. I um, I find how he writes so beautiful and natural and sweet and kind of naive. Um, there is something very uh, childlike. There's a childlike playfulness uh, about his music. Um, and, uh, and it always reminds me of opera, uh, of, you know, little little dramas, little um, dialogues of love, of arguments, of interrupting each other, uh, of little jokes. Um, uh, yeah, there is so much uh, charm and humour. Um, and all of that uh, on top of basically showing off every <laughs> possible way of playing the violin. <laughs> so um, it's very satisfying um, and uh, it always feels like uh, freedom is welcome your personal freedom in how you choose what you choose to do with this music is is uh, actually not only welcome but encouraged um and kind of what makes this music come to life um so yeah as a as a player as a violinist what more could you possibly ask for <laughs> um this is why i love it <laughs> Hello everyone, Ilya Gringolds here. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, Paganini's 24th Caprice and specifically about uh, variation number seven. Uh, the important thing uh, with Paganini's caprices, as is with any piece, I suppose, is to have the right materials, the right additions or sources. Um, in this case, we have a beautiful manuscript facsimile that is available uh, for download on IMSLP, so anyone can have it. It's really gorgeous, and um, you can see so many things that you cannot see in any available edition. For example, we can see how the variations sort of closely follow each other. So there's this continuity that you don't have in, um, in Urtext, where everything is very cleanly um, subdivided. So every variation starts from the beginning uh, of a line, uh, which is absolutely not the case in the manuscript. So you have a much more continuous uh, uh, construction here. Now, this variation uh, that I'm going to talk about, number seven, like every variation in this caprice, it has a sort of a rhythmical, agogical quirk. And uh, Paganini does what he does so well and so regularly. He puts an accent on the wrong beat. So instead of going, he goes, and so on. So this is what we have to uh, bring out as performers, is, is this little quirk, the wrong accent. And um, of course, the character of this uh, variation is very different from variations surrounding it. It's sort of light and humorous, sort of like a bit of a comic relief in this uh, sea of uh, passion, right? So uh, I think we'll do well to bring that out as well. Enjoy! <laughs> 